Hello boys and girls, Bruce here with another guitar creativity lesson. And today we're gonna to look at the complex subject of learning online. So many of you are learning online, in fact, you're tuning into this video now to, to learn something, hopefully, and to take something away from these lessons, and you probably use a whole wealth of other lessons out there. There are so many amazing lessons online and courses online. It's, it's the future, the way things are happening. Universities are putting all their content online. It's an amazing time. But as a guitarist, what are the most effective ways to learning something online and actually to learning in general? The first one, this is the crucial one. Take this, if you're gonna watch a video, if you're gonna do any practicing, you're gonna learn something, take this thing and put it down. Put it out of the way. That is my first piece of advice. Put the guitar down and listen. Watch the lesson, it might be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, however long it is. Just like when you were at school, just like if you were doing a lecture at a university, watch the lesson take the information in because if you're playing with a guitar your brain is somewhere else your brain is noodling you're kind of copying what the let you're not taking in the whole context of the lesson so that is the first stage put the instrument down watch the lesson in its entirety or however much you feel like you need to watch maybe 10 minutes or something so you get a feeling for it then pick the guitar up The second stage is when you've got the guitar put down, you're watching the lesson. Again, do like you did at school. Make notes. Not copious notes. There's a whole nother lecture I need to give on uh, taking notes, but whatever form you make, the nuggets of the lesson that you think are really, really useful to you. The things that as you're listening to the lesson, it might be really boring, you might be thinking about it this one, but there might be something in there and suddenly your ears prick up and you go, that's the thing you write down. Don't copy it word for word, lick for lick. Just copy down or write down the things that inspire you about that lesson or the things that interest you or the things that you question or the things that you want to know more about. Make a list however you do it. I would advocate using something like a mind map. Take your piece of paper if you're going to write stuff down and don't work linearly. Just wherever on the paper you've got ideas. Talk, he's talking about major sevenths. Write down major seventh. I'm quite curious about that. And that lick there, I really like that lick at about two minutes. To, I might want to learn that. Just put all this information down on a paper, away from the guitar, away from that headspace. You will retain more information. And the third thing, and this is the crucial thing, is take that lesson, go back with your notes, rewatch it, and then fill in the gaps of things you may have missed. Things that might have interested you. Things that you want to know more about. Fill in the gaps from the lesson. And if that information there isn't the lesson, write a list of questions. For example, very basically, what is a major seventh if you don't know what it is? Oh, I'm kind of curious about that. It worked really well. I like the sound of it. I need to find out more about major seventh. He just talked about it in the lesson because it was maybe an assumed knowledge that I knew what it is, but maybe I'll go and find another lesson. This is the aspect of self-defined learning, which the internet really inspires and you need to be focused on it. So this is my three top tips about effectively learning from the internet. Put your instrument away, pick it up after you've done the class, after you've done the lesson, after you've watched the video. And if it's, it could be for anything, if you're learning a how-to to do something on a camera or whatever, don't be doing it with the instrument or the thing in your hand. Two, make some rough notes, in either as a mind map or whatever works for you, just on a bit of paper, the things that jump out, those are the things that are gonna stick in your mind. You're not gonna take in the whole lesson. That's not the point of teaching. It's little nuggets that inspire you, little nuggets that you want to latch onto and ways of exploring the future. And the third thing, as I say, go back over the lesson. Don't just watch a lesson and then move on to the next one because that stuff isn't gonna go in, I can guarantee that. Watch it, watch it again, and fill in the notes, ask questions. What are the things you didn't quite understand? What are the gaps in my knowledge? You are then interacting with the content, you're making it personalizing the content, and you're really engaging with it at a different level than if you're just sat there watching a video with a guitar in your hand, trying to learn the licks, trying to do the things, that stuff is never gonna go in. I hope you find that useful.